Hello, and welcome back to Mad Mouse Games. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be taking this petty cash and showing you how you can get started in miniatures for just 20 bucks. So, let's go to the store, get all that stuff that we need. So first, you're going to want to go out and grab yourself a couple of miniatures. I got these guys at my local gaming store for six bucks. With the tax, it ended up being six dollars and fifty-one cents. So, picked up a couple of these guys. Uh, they have a little picture on the back of how they painted them, um, and so I decided I was going to try and paint them this exact same way for the twenty bucks. So, after you get yourself a miniature. You're going to want to go get some more paints, but unfortunately, most of the paints that you'll find at your local gaming store are going to be quite expensive, as well as any brushes that were there were quite expensive as well. Uh, I have a very small local gaming store, and the cheapest brush I could find there was $10, and it was for one brush, and the cheapest paints were Citadel paints, which were like two to three to four bucks for a little jar of them. And there was no way I was going to be able to paint this guy up that way using those kind of paints. And honestly, if you're getting into the hobby, you don't need expensive paints like that to do it at all. And so I went to my local Walmart. So after going to my local Walmart, I picked up this set of fine tipped detailed brushes for about five bucks and there's a lot of really small ones in there as well as some that could be good for uh, dry brushing or uh, things like that ones that I can modify if I needed to um, and so this will be everything that you need to paint a miniature by far um, and then I got these 12 paints these are the apple barrel paints they're pretty simple, they come in huge jars, and this is what I've painted everything that I've painted on the channel with up to this point. They're solid, um, a lot of them are kind of thicker when they come out, so you definitely have to thin these paints when you're applying them um, if you want nice smooth coats. But overall, these are paints that I've used. I picked out a bunch of different ones. Again, I'm going to try and paint it like here on the back, so I got some different purples down here for the skin tones, as well as some browns for the whips and the leather, um, a black and a white, which I think you should always get no matter what kind of paints, because you can always mix them. For example, this purple here, I probably could have bought just this purple, and with the white and the black made this purple and this darker purple. But I wanted to go ahead and get all the different kinds of paints, because it makes it a little bit easier and less time consuming to paint. So I was able to get 12 of these. These were 58 cents a piece. And like I said, I think these brushes were like $4.57. Altogether, these 12 paints and these brushes came out to a total of $12.39. So the $12.39 plus the $6.51 for two miniatures, not just one, for two minis, comes to a total of $18.90, which means you had a dollar and ten cents left over. Now, I kind of didn't want to spend any extra because in the state that I am, we don't have a whole lot of tax. And if you're living somewhere else, prices might be a little bit different. And so this extra dollar and 10 cents can just represent extra tax that you have. This just goes to show it's very easy to start miniature painting, even, like I said, less than 20 bucks here to get all of this stuff to get started. So I'm now going to paint these two miniatures with these brushes and only these paints. I'm not gonna use any of the other paints that I have uh, in my box. Now that you've bought all the necessary things for painting a miniature, I'm going to go over just real quickly the way that I paint my miniatures. So first of all, you'll want to prime your miniature. These minis came pre-primed in the box, so make sure you look on the back to see if they've already been primed. 
If so, you can move on to the next step, which is basing your miniature. So basically when you do a base coat, you will do probably a darker color and put it on all the areas. For example, you can see I already did the skin as a very dark purple. Now I'm doing all the leather and rope in a darker brown color. I'll also do the loincloth in a darker green and then a dark dark gray on any of the parts that I want to be metal later. So the next step in the process is going to be to start adding highlights. When you add a highlight you'll want to do obviously a lighter color than your darker base coat and you'll want to apply it over most of the miniature. You'll probably want to do about 90 to 80 percent of the miniature with your next color of highlight. And you'll slowly want to work your way up from your dark base coat to the highest highlight which will only cover maybe 10 percent of the area. That way you get a nice smooth coat and a nice smooth transition from the darker colors to the lighter colors. Now it sounds really easy when you say it out loud and that's probably the easiest, me easiest method which is just called layering. There's lots of videos on YouTube you can look up about it. Dr. Faust's painting clinic did a really great one that I linked in one of my other videos which I'll leave a little card to up in the corner. Layering is probably the easiest, but it does take quite a bit of time to perfect. You have to get pretty good at, at thinning down your paints. Now, one thing that I do to thin my paints that I find works really well, especially if you're using these apple barrel paints, is I will put one drop of paint into my little palette. You can just put it on a paper towel, you can put it basically anywhere. And then I will take the back end of my brush and dip it in my cup of water and it'll get a little bead of water on the end. I will mix that in with the paint and generally that will make a thin enough layer that it's not too bad um, when you apply it. And it kind of depends on the color. I've noticed that lighter colors like white, uh, yellows, oranges generally don't need as much to make them thinner compared to something like a black or a blue which I usually end up mixing just a tiny bit more water on. So after you've started your layering it's just a simple process of how far you want to take it. If you want to make it a nice quick layering process maybe you only do one or two coats of paint. If you want to make it look really really smooth and you want to spend a lot of time on it then do it. As long as you're enjoying yourself, I think that's the most important part. And that's something that I've done as I've done these minis. I've really enjoyed learning more and getting better techniques done, and it's something I really enjoy. Here you can see me doing just a little bit of dry brushing, which is where you wipe off most of the paint and apply just a little bit on the end of your brush, and you'll kind of scrape it over, and it'll leave just a little bit on the highest edges of the mini. Those are kind of the two basic ones that I would start out learning and go from there. But overall, painting is really fun and I highly recommend it. And there you have it. For 20 bucks, you get your own little miniature that you can put down on the table in front of your players. Or if you're a player in somebody's campaign, you can put your own mini on the table that you have painted the way you want. And let me tell you, once you paint something that you can hold in your hand and look at, it's something that you'll be proud of for a long time to come. And of course, on your first time painting, it's not gonna be perfect probably not even going to be great but it's something that as you practice and work at you can get better at over time and it's something that you can actually get better at so I just want to thank you for watching the video if you liked it press that like button if it helped you 
Let me know down in the comments if you have any other ways of saving money trying to get into the hobby, if you had any ideas that maybe I didn't cover so that people who see this video can learn a little bit from it. So if you want to see more mini painting stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can see more videos in the future. Uh, if you're looking for ways to get into the hobby cheap on a mass scale, Reaper Bones is doing another Kickstarter this month, which is March of 2022. So if that's something you'd be interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see when I drop the video when the Kickstarter launches so you can learn a little bit more about it and how it is effective and good at saving you money when you're on a budget. So again, thank you for watching the video and I hope you have a wonderful day.